Hello everyone again, my name is Zachary Dawson and we're going to be solving a matrix problem of linear algebra involving column space and null space. So we're going to start with column space by finding basis for the column space. And the basis yeah, for column space is the basis vectors for column A, which is above right here, 4 by 4, are the pivotal columns in the original non not row reduced matrix. So to do this, we row reduce the matrix and the columns which are row reduced at the pivotal points, we will select those columns for the basis vectors. So we're going to start with row reducing. And for our row reduce, we will be getting ones. Um, for each of these are ones below the zeros and we'll see how it works out. So we're going to start off with row 1 minus row 3 will give us row 1. So 5 minus 4, 2 minus 2, 6 minus 5, 2 minus 2 to give us this new vector. Then we will do row 3 minus 4 times row 1 to give us a new row 3. And as you subtract that, this new row 3 will be cleared out. So now we have for this first one we have our first pivotal point right here. One, all the ones below are zero. So, next we'll do row three minus row four will give us row two. Row three, excuse me. And then we are going to double row two. So we go right here. And you see the new row three has lost some of its values, and the second one is now a two. Now, to do now, we'll see, the reason we did that, we'll see right here. So now row 4 minus row 2 will give us the new row 4. So we'll be able to cancel out this 2. And set up. There we go. We're able to cancel out that. And technically right here is a small but useful pivotal point along, oh, not yet. And then we're going to do row 1 minus row 3 to give us a new row 1. And we are going to divide row 2 by 2. And after we do that, we have now four beautiful pivot columns right there. So now, as definition said, the basis vectors for column A are the pivotal columns in the original non-row reduced matrix. Here, these are all pivot columns. So. We are going to take every single column and use that for our basis in column A. So that's it. Now for null space. Null space is defined by A as X vector equals zero. So to do that, we're going to augment on a row of zeros. And this would be the defining of X. One, two, three, and four. So as you can see here, x of 1, which 1 value equals 0, 2, 3, 4. So they all equal a vector of 0. And that is it. So the basis for a null of A is a vector of 0, which then multiplies, gives us this. This also is the trivial answer because, of course, anything times 0 equals 0. But it is the only solution for this. This is also called by one of my friends, Claire, the stupid, simple case. So it is pretty stupid and simple. You know, once y by zero, you get zero. But for this case, it is a trivial answer for it. So again, that was how you cover column space and null space in linear algebra for this matrix A, this 4 by 4. Uh, thank you for joining me today, and go check.